Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Jeffrey Price's television interview about his television career. I hope you do very well in television in the future. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Hello everyone, it's Jeffrey Price and today I'm going to be showing you how I did that cloning effect. You know how I doubled myself in that um, scene you just saw. It's basically very simple. First of all, you have to shoot the two scenes of you in the different areas and uh, you have to have them imported to Final Cut Pro. You have to mark in and out points of your scenes that you want to include. So as you can see right here, I have my I have my first one selected and have the in and out points on it of me in the left chair. Tree Price's television interview about his television career. I hope you do very well in television in the future. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, so um, once you have your in and out scenes selected on the on the first scene you want to include, you want to drag it down to the storyboard. Next, you have to go back up to your scene bin and sl and select the next one. Okay, so I have to mark my endpoint on here, which will be right here, and play a little bit and find out my out point. which will be right here. Next, you do the same thing. You drag it down to the storyboard, but drag it on top of the original scene. You have to make sure that both of these are the same length. I'll explain why later. So I want to make sure that this is the same length. I'm going to mute this down because the right person isn't speaking on here. And um, you have to have the top scene selected. You go here. The one of these three tools you select is the crop tool. And uh, you just uh, drag the bottom part here over. In this case, I want it in the middle. And that pretty much uh, crops um, the right side of the screen, the scene of the person to the right. If, if you shoot both scenes um, and uh, the shadow or something affects the light on one scene, it's going to expose it. Basically telling whoever views it that it's a split screen. As you can see, that's happening right here. And uh, after that, after that, you render the sequence. And the the reason why you have to have um both of these both of these videos the same length is because if you have scenes before and after, one one part of the screen will um pretty much uh, cut before um the, the next screen does going into the next scene. So uh, that's pretty much uh, how you do it. Please let me know if you have any questions.